Hey, it's Brian Lord. Welcome back to Medieval 2 Total War. As the Spanish if you recall last time, we took the settlements of Dublin and Edinburgh, reducing our relations because we ex had to exterminate both of them. And uh, we accidentally tried to kill the uh, dude that was here, and it didn't actually kill him. We tried. We I wanted to execute him so we could take Edinburgh immediately, but it uh, yes, it didn't let me take it. Yeah. So there's that. Uh, we also s are starting to send an army. We've got our friends, the Moors here. But we're sending an army down here, and we're gonna go scout this area and see if the Moors have taken that. I'm gonna guess that they haven't. Uh, usually they don't, it seems. But they could have, and uh, it, it no harm, no foul. It doesn't cost us much money to just look down there. So that's another free region. Well, pretty much free. Have to beat some rebels, of course, but it should be pretty free. So. Yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much done everything this turn. Let me just check our agents. Because you never know. Yes, this guy's getting lord. rich. Dang. Yes, my lord. Jackie, my lord. Yes, my lord. Mostly just want to check my, my merchants. Lord. Make sure they're all alive and doing something. You're not doing anything? Okay, good thing I checked. See? See, this is why we check. Yes, this is why we check things. This, my lord. And yes, my lord. Toledo. I'm sure we can get some more merchants, and I think we are planning on, yes, we are planning on getting more merchants up in the, this area of the world. Yes. And uh, I did find out, um, I may have commented this and replied to you guys in comments by this time, but I did find out that uh, we do have to wait until about turn 160 to get the ability to build the docks for the new world. Uh, the Spanish and Portuguese do get an advantage where uh, they can... There, there's because there's two extra docks that are added with that and the Spanish and Portuguese get a ship that can go to the New World on the first dock where most people have to build both levels of docks so um, yeah so we'll be waiting for a little while in the meanwhile we shall be conquering up to I think there was uh, I forgot to count I believe there's six in the New World so we need to get um, eight more regions and Everness is our first target so, without further ado, lads, let's shave and end the time and see what, see what happens in Scotland. Because you could be quite interesting, you know what I'm saying, mate. It's good. Oh. Yeah. Hi, Russia. Alright, let's go see. Oh, Russia is expanding quite far to the east, actually. Got some nice territory going on. Okay. Cool. Good job, Russia. Doing work. I like. I like Russia. Russia's a cool nation. I don't know. It's not the best nation in the world, but uh, I'm sure you Russians would disagree. I'm just. I'm just speaking in this game's terms, of course. Uh, not the best nation. Lots of horse archers and some decent infantry, but nothing. Nothing too spectacular. In turn of ports, we are number one in everything but military and overall, which is odd. Uh. Emilio de Balls has died here. Okay. We'll keep that in mind. Relations have improved with the Papal States. Okay, very nice. Cardinal Reports. Promoted from uh, Portugal. Died from Denmark. That is what we like to see. Lots of stuff built. So yeah, building these cannon makers is not going to do us anything. Um, so yeah, we're not going to focus on that anymore. Uh, we could go for a tavern here. Or... Oh, right. We want to get... We want to be able to get handgunners. So we're going to get a Militia Barracks so we can get some handgunners. Because these are pretty cool. They're not super effective, but they, they are good. Uh, Spanish handgunners are really good in melee as well. Because they have good uh, equipment like that. Spanish also get Musketeers, I believe, which are, are not bad. Yeah, we don't need to upgrade that. Um, actually, do we get... Uh, I'm curious. Do we get things at the castle? We do not get any... Gunpowder units at the castle, okay. Oh, maybe through here. Uh, I, I, I need to check these things. I haven't checked this, and it's going to bother me. Now, it does not appear we get, uh... does not appear we get gunpowder at the castle. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> Uh... I guess we'll go Master Armor. Just so we can have it. Palermo. Or Arsenal again, we could. Could, in theory, get these things, but I, I don't really want them. Yeah, let's just get the Master Armor. There we go. Guy got Caligari. 
is uh, still growing, which sucks. Uh, actually, what does our current church give? It gives two, and this would give an extra 5%. All right, sounds good. Jacquio has built a large stone wall. Nice. So we need to build some happiness here as well. Gotcha. Jacquio, London has built a dockyard. Very nice. That is more trade in our pockets. We can get more trade in our pockets. York. York. Let's get the mining network going. I'm getting some good public order here finally. Which is nice to see. Uh, it is growing pretty well. Right, we did not we did not exterminate that, which was nice. Uh, a couple of tires here, just in case we get attacked. Just in case we need that for any particular reason. I don't think we will. But uh, anyway, we do have a recruitment report. All right, we got our two merchants that we wanted to send out. Ready to trade. Hundred and oh dang. Oh, this is silver. That's why. Dang. All right, good trade opportunity there. He's going to make his worth in three turns, pretty much. Ready to trade. And you, let's see, what is this stuff worth? For 20, 20, ugh, ugh, ugh. 35, 20, 42. Alright, let's go to this. This, is this looks more valuable. Apparently there's mines all throughout uh, England, which is pretty cool. Not in Nottingham. But in Canaveron there is... Yeah, so actually taking England is going to increase our money situation quite a bit. Uh, every, ooh, they're just not defending that. Yes, my lord. First, leading the men ashore. Not my problem. Alright, so it looks like we'll be able to move out next turn. Um, I guess we could train a priest here. It wouldn't hurt, I suppose. Can't retrain any of these guys. Which is fine, of course. Uh, la, 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 la. La 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 la. Actually, we do want to get the uh, militia drill square, and then I'll be able to leave the our swordsman militia here, and they'll be able to retrain, which I think would be better. And let's check the papal relations. He is still excommunicated. Yes, they are very nice. Uh, we are still only reliable. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay, they're very reliable. Hopefully, we can get back get back up to very reliable at some point. But uh, if we don't. It's not too big a deal. France is still at war with Venice. Okay. Portugal's at war with the Mongols, right? Yeah. Our two little wars. But that's okay. We can work around that. Anyway, let's save and end the turn. We spent a lot of money this turn. Mostly because we're buying those huge expensive buildings. Oh, and I forgot to move my boats down south, didn't I? Good thing I had them on an auto path. And that's what they were doing right there. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, good stuff. Big rebel armors. Yeah, we'll probably we'll probably take care of these after we wipe out the Scottish, because you know having rebels in your territory is not really great in the long run, but in the short term it's not too big a deal for me. So I'm just gonna leave them. There's no sense in wasting time and manpower to stop something that's not even a threat in the first place. You know, I think at least. I mean, maybe, maybe it's worth it. Mash the wine, but I, I don't cheat. Oh, this guy's good. Your orders, number one. Palermo. Okay. Past childbearing age. Oh no! Who cares? La la la. Hostility ceased between. Okay, that's good. Cardinal report from two from Venice and one died from Venice in the Papal State. So it's a little slight movement in the wrong direction for us. But we'll yes, be okay. My lord. E yes, yes my lord. Doesn't look like there's any more trade of this, but you dang son, that is doing some work. Alright, let's keep moving these ships down here. Uh, we do have military access with both our allies, so it's not a big deal. Oh, hopefully they didn't come down here to... That would suck if they were there come down here with an army, but they didn't have an army. I believe this is a... Probably a... Yeah, this is a huge city. They have a citadel, a huge city, and whatever this is. I think this is probably a pretty big city. Yeah, this is a huge city, too. So they got they got some they got some nice settlements. They have three really nice settlements. I'll give them that. I will give them that. March. Move out. All right. So it looks like next turn we can move out, which is fun. We'll plop some garrison in Edinburgh, and uh, go from there. Yes. Move these ships down. These yes, don't need to be up here at all. 
garrison there for now. Um, this will be kind of our combat navy. These navy, this navy can't go over to New World. Um, you need only the new ships can. Uh, even if they're you know fleeted with these, these just can't go over there at all. I have a claymore for you here, Jimmy. We'll probably want to launch the assault from this area and head just westward to uh, North America. And then uh, establish a base there first. I think would be our goal. But I don't know why I'm worrying about that, because we still have 30 more turns about until we can even start building the stuff required. And they have a lot of troops in this navy over here. Scotland will fight ye for these waters. We are not. We are approach to open negotiations. No. Okay. So it doesn't look like they're going to come after us, but uh, it looks like Scotland's kind of bowing out. They're, they're not doing too much. And hopefully, cross your fingers that this Pope does not recommunicate Scotland. Actually, even if they do, we have a good shot at just taking them out this turn, so I'm not too worried about it. Especially if they don't train any units in Inverness. Um, yeah. Which I don't think they can, because they only have Inverness, which isn't going to give them much money in the first place. And they have a lot of armies just roaming around doing nothing. Which, of course, isn't going to give them much money. Yeah, and then we'll, I guess we'll clean up the rebels. That's basically what we're going to do after that. Ah, Pope is dead! Okay. Ooh, we have a shot. Uh, Venice is never going to vote for me, though. Oh, either... Oh, my gosh, look at this. Guys. Guys. Regardless, regardless of what happens, one of one of our alliance is going to be the Pope. That's amazing. That's awesome. That is awesome. Is there I wonder if I can convince them to vote for me. We cannot quite accept this until next time. Okay. Well, I'll vote for myself anyway. And let's see. Yes, and it was mine. Oh, they all voted for me. Dang, son. Okay. So we got a Pope. I'm not sure what that means. Scotland's been reconciled. Yeah, that sucks. Not going to do too much about that. Um, yeah. So we have the Pope. I'm going to go see in a second if there's anything we can do with him. If we have any kind of control. I've never had a Pope before. Spanulandia. So it doesn't look like we have any direct control. Oh, they really like Venice, huh? Huh. <laughs> of course, we're an inspirational Christendom. Pope Guido. So apparently, you don't get to do anything interesting with the Pope. He just becomes a. I wish this crusade wasn't in progress. It sucks that he they had to call a crusade there. But it does mean that the Pope likes us quite a bit. Unfortunately, Scotland did get reconciled. Is that what is what happens after a Pope is a new Pope is elected. But if we can kill him this turn, which I believe we can, it shouldn't be a big deal. I'll just keep these guys here. Keep the militia here. And we should be able to attack. And what do they have? They have two ants in there. And we have two bombard cannons, which should be able to handle it. So I think we can go ahead and siege attack this turn and take out the Scottish before the Pope gets too pissed at us. Because I don't want the Pope to get too mad. And plus I want to stop being at war so we can get... Uh, um, yeah, I want us to stop being at war so we can start increasing our reliability even more, even faster. Uh, hopefully they're not going to go take over something over here. I don't think they have. That would suck if they took over something over here while I was killing them. But, uh, either way, let's assault King Don, Don Shad the Watcher. He's got some good stats. Very good authority. He's aloof, though. <laughs> He's aloof. Legacy of Chivalry. Wow, he has Legacy of Chivalry and he has that much dread. That's pretty good. But Gomez de Murica. For Murica! Let's go. Let's fight. For the glory of Spain. <laughs> oh, my arm's kind of in an awkward position today, so excuse me if I uh, am moving the mic around. I'm going to have to 
Between this episode and the next, I'm going to have to readjust things a little bit. But it shouldn't be too bad. And hopefully you people at home will not notice anything. But uh, as the close state of affairs, my arm is growing a little peckish. I don't, peckish? Peckish? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. But when have I ever known what I'm saying? Remember that the goal here is to capture the settlement, not destroy it. Buildings destroyed on the battlefield what? will What? Why do I have advice? <laughs> Hold on. Advice level none. And he get <laughs> Do you think I'm gonna just destroy everything? What a butt munch. Alright, well, whatever. Anyway. This is gonna be the battle of the bombards doing work. I'm pretty sure. And we're gonna we're gonna control the bombards. Um but these crossbowmen. Should probably group these guys. And again, uh, I've got a lot of people asking. You do hit G to group, and then G to ungroup, and it will move you guys like this. Just in case you guys want to know again. I'm fine with mentioning things like that. Uh, okay. So first thing we want to attack is the gatehouse itself. Or the gate itself. I mean. If they're, if they're not going to defend this gate, that's fine with me. I'll just blast through it quickly and move in. Because they do have another gate that we have to get through, potentially. So I'll just make this quick and dirty. Got our bombards. See these things work. They shoot nice flaming shots. This guy's shooting right into a tree. Hopefully that doesn't actually block him. We'll find out in a second. This could get really bad. No, nope. okay, I can clip through the tree, good. And look at that, one round of bombards, and that's done. Jeez. It's really good, actually. Alright. Infantry, move up. If we get inside this first gate quickly, you know, we have the tactical advantage. Then we'll move our bombards forward as well. And if they do stay here, like precisely here, we have good fire with our bombards and our archers, so we can take them out quite liberally, which would be pretty nice of them to stay there. But I, I doubt they're going to stay there. They're not that dumb, are we? So yeah, I, I end up doing a lot of siege attacks on this uh, campaign. And we haven't siege defended once, I don't think. Oh, look at these chivalric knights. They just, oh, they just look so cool. I just love the look of them. Guys. God, these chivalric knights look so cool. Are you, are you looking at these guys? They even have like a sideways thumbs up flag. Like, how do you get better than that? Those are heavy, heavily armored pervase crossbowmen look really cool as well. It's just all around good. <laughs> this fills a parent with awe and wonder and splendor. Yeah, it looks like they're just going to defend the town. I, I don't blame them. In that case, we are going to. Their worth today. The yeah, enemy's yeah. walls belong to us now. Now we have a couple options. We could go fight through the gatehouse, or we could just smash through this wall here. And I think we're just going to smash through this wall here because I don't think they're going to do anything about it. And I honestly think that's probably the better option. So we'll move our cannons up there. And move our infantry to right behind them. Then have our general in here. Because basically I want to get in like that. Because then we can fire on them with our cannons. While they're at the town center, which is pretty cool. These crossbows can get in here as well. Of course, we won't. We like our crossbowmen. Alright, men. Fire on this wall, take it down for the glory of for the glory of Spain. Destroy this wall. Hopefully they can shoot it. Like it doesn't look like they could shoot vertically, but I'm pretty sure they can without any difficulty or extra difficulty. Ah, excuse me, because uh, it's like right on my nerve ending on my elbow that I have to sit for this. Kind of unfortunate, but. Uh, 
Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh, five damage each. Yeah, this will go down in quite a few volleys. And as you can see, they have plenty of ammo, so we're definitely good. And this is why cannons uh, pretty much destroy castles, and it just becomes ridiculous. And these guys aren't even activating this tower right now. So it's not like they'll be shooting at us with that tower even. We're just going to take down this wall and get in scot-free. Get it? Because we haven't fought any scots yet. Oh, good one. I didn't even think about that when I said it. Pew, pew. Very nice. You can see the visible damage on the wall. It does become slightly harder to hit, of course, when, uh, you know, there's more rubble in the way. But, uh, yeah. I do, li I do like the destruction physics on this game. It does look pretty nice. This is the first battle, this is the first siege battle I've used, or uh, attacked in this game with actual siege equipment. And uh, in Medieval 2, generally speaking, you want to try using trebuchets or catapults, you know, whenever you can. If, you, if you're planning on siege attacking stuff, use those, because honestly, it's a lot more reliable than using um, hand-drawn siege, or ha using hand-drawn siege equipment is a lot more reliable than using siege towers and stuff. But I just have never been in a situation where I had catapults in this, so. Just how it rolls, I guess. But this is our first siege attack with siege weapons, which I find a lot more enjoyable, like I've just said. Oh, are they gonna actually defend this? That would be funny. Looks like they are. Alright, Pavese Crossbowman, line up over here. Because I want you guys to shoot into the city. Our men are under attack! We oh, and they've activated that tower, so we do need to, yeah, we do need to move our cavalry, I guess. Alright, cavalry, nope, the tower's deactivated again. Looks like they're just going to plug this gap, maybe. Which, again, is fine with me. I'm not sure what their pikemen are doing, actually. Friendly fire? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I guess I didn't think about that, but come on. That's stupid. Oh well. Did you guys kill these uh kill this wall any slower? There you go. I'm just curious if we can hit their general. Or he's just gonna back off. Our men are under attack. We must act now. Right, let's get our infantry in the city. All right, and they're going to back off. So we're going to pull our cannons in here. And it's basically just going to be our infantry and our cannons doing work. Line up our... Oh, I didn't want you. And then our cannons are going to be in front, like so. And we should be able to just get a straight shot on there. In fact, we can even move it closer into our lines. Maybe. Yeah, like that. That would be perfect, actually. I, they should be able to fit through her, I think. I know lar larger sea equipment like trebuchets really has a hard time getting through walls, but bombards are really nice and compact, and they're also really powerful, so I do like them for that reason. And they do one-hit kill things, as we will see, hopefully. Got our legions of chivalric knights here, ready to, uh, dismount chivalric knights, ready to do combat in melee, if need be. We, we should have no problem killing the Aztecs, I don't think. It shouldn't be too hard, it'll just take some time. Alright, bombards are almost in position. Here we go. We are ready to fire on their general. Let's go ahead and do so. Actually, we could probably take down this uh, this thing here. We'll see. We'll, we'll see how accurate our guys are, if they can get through underneath this bridge. Otherwise, I think we could probably take it down, if need be. Are they charging us? No, I thought they were charging us for a second. All right, let's watch the bombards do their work. Bombards, again, very accurate. 
Why would I give him praise? No, oh, come on. Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, they haven't missed anything all day. And then as soon as I say, and they're very accurate, then they then they whiff and hit the hit the thing four times. And it doesn't look like we can actually damage that, which makes sense, of course. I mean, why would you be able to damage something? All right, but we have a we have a pretty good hole in here. Hopefully, we should be able to shoot through it. I mean, realistically. Nope. Alright. Well, in that case, we are going to stop our guys from firing. I'm going to move them there. I'm going to move them there. And we're going to move our infantry to defend them. Oh my gosh. You're kidding me. We can't even... Can't, we can't even sprawl out one guy. Okay. Get over Vay's crossbowman here as well. Because why not? Make our infantry run because we our cannons are way ahead and I don't want them to charge our cannons. Obviously, that would be unfortunate. Now they should be able to hit them from here. Like, come on. Right? I shouldn't have any trouble. I would hope. How did I get out here by double clicking? I don't know. Alright, Bombards, do your best. Please. Okay, they can shoot through the gap. That guy can't. Which is okay, I guess. Any more firing? Anyone Anyone gonna fire? Did you fire? Did you really fire? I don't think you did. I don't believe you. Oh! Very close. Oh, we did kill some of their general. Very nice. Where are they going? What are they doing? Cavalry, take them out. Where are they going? I don't know what they're doing. Um, yeah, okay, so the king just came out of the walls and, uh, decided to come fight our cavalry. Well, I'm, I'm okay with this. We have a lot more cavalry. We should be able to win that. Plus, our infantry will be able to beat these pikemen. No problem. Let's not have our guys help. They don't need to help. You should be knocking. Yeah, these guys are already half dead. If we remain true and wholehearted, that was really weird. I guess he was trying to escape the uh, cannons, but still, I don't know. Excellent. These guys are trying to get ready. The last Scottish defense: Highland pikemen versus tons of heavily armored swordsmen, and they're facing the wrong way too. That's that's just better. That's just that's even better. I'm not even charging from that direction. These guys are just going to get cut down extremely easy. They do have long swords, which is nice. But they don't have any shielding or hardly any armor. You know, so they're not going to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with our men. They, they might the kill a couple. They haven't they even killed one yet. Actually, so maybe they won't. The enemy king but uh, the enemy king is dead. Very nice. Brave soldiers. Attack while his men mourn their loss. These guys are giving up. 
they'll run right into our Chivalric Knights, so they should be able to handle them. Regardless, and the Highland Pikemen are almost dead completely. Of course, as we would expect. All right, when you when your unit routes, sometimes they decide not to go through the gate like this, which is interesting. So hopefully we can just kill them. Yeah, okay. Very good. No units dead, and these guys are pretty much dead too. There's only 20 left. I think it's less because they're dying pretty quickly in here. Good job, Chivalric Knights. Nice. That was a pretty painless battle, mostly due to our bombards being able to do some good work. A little bit of cavalry fire from the towers, a little bit of fighting here, you know, cost us a few knights. A uh, little bit of friendly fire on these Pavé's crossbows, but, you know, first siege attack, not too bad. Not too bad at all, I will say. We got that going for us. Alright. So if we can kill the last guy, then I'll just end it. Clear victory, we only lost 74 men. Very nice. No enemies captured. And... The Scottish are defeated with pure valor and honor, of course. And that means that the Isles of Brittany are ours. They belong to us completely. We're going to occupy the settlement, of course, because we don't want to lose more reliability. Faction destroyed Scotland. Scotland doesn't like us. Darn. Wonder why. We can upgrade this to a citadel immediately because they're too poor to do so, I believe. That's okay. That's fine. Very nice. All right. So, with that, we have uh, officially defeated the Scots and the English up here. We're converting these settlements to proper, proper Spanish citadels and such, which is which is good to see. We also have pretty much trade. Uh, we have full trade up here, basically. Because we, we have all the merchants here now. Which is really cool. Pretty much trade immunity. And uh, we can start knocking out these uh, these rebels. We've got lots of rebels in our island here. We can knock those out pretty easily. Sounds like something we should do as well. Move, keep moving this guy down here. And we can't quite see the next territory yet. It's right there. And hopefully it does not belong... To our we cannot sail there. Oh. This is a course we cannot plot. But my lord, this is impossible. Oh. We cannot sail there. But my lord, this is impossible. Oh. This is a course we cannot plot. We oh. cannot sail there. This is a course we cannot plot. We huh. cannot sail there. Bless you, Lord. Back on dry land. Huh! 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 Yeah, I would not have guessed that you could not go to that. Um, well, we'll try to get to it on foot. Oh my gosh, it's gonna take forever, isn't it? Well, dude. Yes. Have fun. We shall continue at first. Yes. <laughs> this is a course Hopefully, you won't die of old age by the time you stand there. But, but uh, Lord, this is it's kind of interesting, it actually. In both our huh. to but I think that's all we're going to do for this episode of Medieval 2 Total War as the Spanish rejoice next time. As we uh, consolidate our forces here, kill off some of these rebels, start sending our armies somewhere else. Uh, we'll have to figure out who we want to fight next. Uh, our allies aren't at war with anyone. Well, they are at war with Venice. And, uh... Wait a Oh. <laughs> France took out Venice? The city? Oh my gosh. Okay, France. Doing work. They took this back, and then they're like, You know what? We're gonna come all the way down here, and we're gonna take Venice. Oh my gosh, France. What a boss. Oh, I mean, Denmark would be the logical next choice. Who are they friends with? They're friends with... Oh, that, yeah, that would make sense. Friends with Venice. Um, we do have trade rights. They're reliable. We are also reliable. I, I would want to, I would like to get up to very reliable once again I before I do anything to too me. rash. Not to banter. Not to banter. Your All right. Yes. 
So I guess we'll see you on the next episode of uh, Medieval 2 Total War, where all of that doth happen. Thanks for watching. Braden Lord signing out. Have a good day.